Hey Internet, it's Jesse at Ishkatars coming at you with the brand new Federa 2020 Yin Yang Standard. They did a whole bunch of updates to this iconic, iconic bass. One of my personal favorites, probably all of your personal favorites. This is, you know, the, the, the gunslinging bass of the Wild West, uh, you know, Victor Wooten's uh, classic. Uh, Victor Wooten started playing Federa's in 1983 and uh, is still with him, still has his original bass, number 37, I believe. Um, and so 2020, they came up with a lot of cool new updates for this thing. Um, in the standard series, by the way, too, so this isn't ridiculously expensive. It's mostly just expensive. Um, the uh, version I'm heard holding here, there's two versions. There is the Purple Heart version, which is 6250. They also have a, is it Mahogany? Um, version that is 5250, I think. Um, I'm just so excited about this one. I wanted to play this one. Um, this is one of only five that also get, as the first of the beginning of the year, this fancy Victor Wooten signed backplate. This is an extra backplate here. They give you an extra one so you don't have to scratch it up on the back. Um, we already sold uh, one of these. It didn't even get it in yet, and somebody bought it. And this is the second one. And after that, that's all we're going to have. Um, so only a couple of these guys out there. Now, for the changes in here, um, pretty neat. This has a uh, chambered alder body now. There's your nice, beautiful piece of alder. Doesn't weigh a lot. This is 8.5 pounds for this exact base. Um, really, really comfy. Most importantly, as you can see, there's purple heart on it, which is the coolest tone wood ever. One of my favorites. Uh, it's a very warm wood, um, has qualities of, I guess you could say mahogany. Um, so this base with a purple heart fretboard and Purple Heart top, you're gonna to expect a little more warmth, but Purple Heart is very dense. It also has a lot of uh, snappiness to the sound. So it's a great fretboard wood. I love using it in uh, bass builds and guitar builds. I've been trying to do more uh, guitars uh, with Purple Heart fretboards on them too, or Purple Heart necks. Um, it just, it's a great tone. I think it's one of the most underrated tone woods that's out there. And it's purple, it's naturally purple. How freaking cool is that? One of my favorite little things in this bass too. I don't know if you can see it, but there's this, Really cool purple heart inlaid, uh, you know, Monarch butterfly up at the top there, the Federa logo. Pretty neat. Electronically, you can go two ways with these guys. You've got the EMG PJ set, which is the classic, uh, you know, again, throwback to the Victor Wooten kind of setup. Um, I absolutely love this setup. Very common in Spectres. A lot of people don't know that Vinny Federa was actually Stuart Spectre's first employee. And he went out on his own, obviously. Um, so that's kind of, uh, you know, something Spectre was famous for was the, that PJ setup eventually using EMGs. Um, sounds absolutely killer, punchy and aggressive all at the same time. Uh, Victor Wooten's tone, very aggressive. Um, so you can go EMGs on this, or you can also do the uh, Seymour Duncan Federa collaboration dual coil pickups. Uh, you can option in here, um, which I like, which are great pickups. They're a little maybe not as aggressive, a little more versatile than these guys are. We won't get in that stuff today. There's plenty of other... Uh, Fun things to talk about. Um, but uh, yeah, this is this bass. It's really special. It's new. It's really cool. They've done a great job uh, with these new appointments. And I'm just going to play a couple little things for you. Um, my uh, interpretation of Sinister Minister, for example. Now, this is with the EQ completely flat. Um, actually, I'll show you two things here. So we're going to run completely flat first on our EQ. Out of our dark glass over here is completely flat also. And then I'm going to go a little to the bridge pickup um, to show you kind of what I think is a little bit more uh, victory sounding on this specific bass. So here we go. Okay. Now we're going to go just a tiny bit, just a smidge to the jazz bass pickup. How different that sounds way more mid-range aggressive really cool victor tones for days um you know this is a little bit warmer to me uh the dark glass is also a pretty warm amp a little bit warmer to me than here in some of his sounds but um really can nail that one of the coolest parts about the yin yang bass it's actually really versatile um so if we go back to our center position actually here let me show you this on the p bass pickup you can get p bass tones for days out of this thing um Real 
fat, real warm. I was holding back a little bit with my fingers, but if you dig in, just like any good pea base should, you get that nice growly, fat, aggressive kind of sound out of this thing that's really, really killer. Um, and then uh, uh, going back kind of the other way too, on the jazz bass pickup here. Sounds really cool, gets a little more jockey, of course. This bass sounds incredible for cording stuff. Go back to the, this is the, uh, uh, both pickups fully on now, actually. Here, a lot of clarity through the whole bass, and that's at the kind of the fattest point here. Um, a lot of clarity out of this B string. Even with those really, really fast slaps, you get a lot of clarity out of that low E, which a lot of times on a lot of basses gets really muddy. Um, so simple as that, it's a killer bass. I absolutely love it. This is um, all purple heart. The whole top is purple heart. This is actually um, Olympic white paint that's here. Um, and you get a little exposure here in the inlay with the mother of pearl and can't really beat it. Absolutely incredible. Check it out. Buy this from us before it's gone because it's gonna be really quick um, and get another one on order. Thanks. Subscribe, like, enjoy things. See you later.